Okay, so we have added in a menu item for our new page. And let's quickly go over a couple things on this page while we're here. This publish column will allow you to basically publish or unpublish a menu item. So let's say uh, we have a page for Christmas decorations. And Christmas is over now. So we want to take that page off of our e-commerce store that's talking about Christmas decorations. But we don't want to delete that page because next year we're going to need it again. So we don't want to delete that link or page or, or whatever the content item may be. So you can click here and unpublish it so it's not there. Now let's say that we also have menu items and we want to change the order of these menu items. Suppose I want for I want adventures to appear between. Uh, you got to follow me here. Adventures. Oops, I just clicked on it, so it's gonna go into it. All right, not what I want to do. Hit close. So let's say I want to move. Like let's say contact. I want to move contact between shop and history. So I'm gonna write. I'm gonna type in a number here. Let's do 46.5, because that comes between 46 and 47. And let's hit save. Now, contact has been moved between shop and history. Now, let's say I only want to move it down one more. I can hit this arrow button, but down one more. So, everything we do in Joomla is pretty flexible. It allows us to move things around and be versatile and adapt to changes and stay ahead of our competitors because we don't have to pay for updates all the time. Nobody likes to do things like that. So let's say you have moved. Oh no, you're expanding. The SEO is working great. You're getting a lot of new leads, you're hiring new staff, and now you need a bigger location. So you've moved. So how would I update my contact info? If you were paying attention, you would have saw I've clicked under Components, Categories, Contact. Let me close out of here just so you can see that one more time in case you are making that change right now, which probably may be the case because you're watching this video. Components, Contacts, and Contacts again. That's going to take you to Contact Manager, and you'll see all the contacts. Usually it's only one listed here. Some what we have multiple contacts. It just depends on, once again, your configuration. There's an infinitesimal amount of configurations you can do with Joomla, so uh, yours may look different. So we have our name here, an alias uh, category. Who this contact is linked to it could be linked to an administrator. It could be linked to an individual person. Uh, it depends on who you want to get receive that email. Again, access level, contact position. You can you can fill out these fields if you'd like, and uh, depending upon the parameters you set have set over here in this right hand column over where parameters are. Uh, uh, will decide whether or not people can see it on the front end. So you could write in your town, your state, and you know you moved. You have a different location now. So you could do it how we have everything all in this little text field, or you could put each individual item in its particular field and publish each one of those. You could select a contact image also if you want a contact image. You can add mis miscellaneous information on your contact page if you have any additional miscellaneous information that you want to add. Um, if you decide you want to hide your form on your email page, you can click hide and it'll hide that email form. If you get some idiot who keeps emailing you from some whatever email address and you want to ban them, you could ban them. Any special text or subject you get in spam or something, which you shouldn't have an issue with that here. You may have someone deliberately emailing you um, if you've wronged them or I don't know. Sometimes people have nothing else better to do. Uh, if you want to display your icons on your uh, contact page, you can do that here also in the parameters. But these are the main parameters that you're going to go through and hide or show the different fields. And once again, you can hover over here and you will see a tooltip that will help you out uh, if you get stuck on something. So that's pretty much our contact form and how you would update it if you had to update any information or make any changes. So let's go ahead and close out of that since we didn't make any changes. And that's it for this video.